Hey, what's up guys? Jace Two Cents here, and you might notice that my set looks a little different than normal. Uh, well, that's because I completely broke into Paul's Hardware's place while he's on vacation, and we don't need him to know any of that. But anyway, the fool. <laughs> I'm asked often because of hard tubing videos that I've done. One, to do a how to bend hard tubing video, and we're gonna be doing that. And two, the difference between PETG and acrylic. So I figured this would be a perfect time to actually demonstrate to you guys how my phone goes off in the middle of a video destroying a take. The new EVGA Silent Series power supplies offer excellent silence and efficiency through their new EVGA Eco Mode technology and also features a seven year warranty for worry free gaming. Click the link in the description to learn more. I hold here in my hands a very special tube and some acrylic and hard PETG stuff. Bet you guys can't tell the difference by looking at it, can you? Can't tell the difference, can't smell the difference. Uh, but we're gonna talk about today what makes these tubes different. Now acrylic tubing was one of those things where it was like, oh wow, it's you can heat it, you can bend it, that's awesome. But acrylic is inherently very, very brittle. So you fast forward a couple of years, or quite a few years actually, from when people started using uh, acrylic tubing, which is this guy here with the bend, it's the only way I can keep track of it to using a f material called PETG. I'll be honest, I have no idea what the acronym stands for. Feel free to look it up yourself. Don't bother telling me, I really don't care because it doesn't matter what it means. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna talk about why you would want PETG over acrylic and why I hate working with PETG, to be honest. All right, so first things first, uh, acrylic, as I mentioned, very, very brittle. In fact, if you get in close here, you can see there are a lot of spider cracks in this. And if you see the end of this right here, it's actually broken. And there was a reason for that. Before shooting this video, actually a while back, I wanted to test the durability of acrylic. So what I did was I heated it and I bent it and I did a 180 bend right here. So it wasn't just a 90, it was a 180. And then while it was still hot, I took it and I dunked it in water. Just like that, it went dunk. Holy, I'm making a mess everywhere. I dunked it in water and uh, those spider cracks formed. And then I said, well, I wonder how brittle it is. And I barely pulled it and it broke apart. So as you can see, the acrylic is, uh, takes more heat to bend. It's a bit more sensitive. And as you bend it, it gets a bit more brittle. Now we've got PETG tubing. Now you can actually tell that this is a bit more dense of a material. It's actually a little bit heavier, even though the measurements are the same. This is a 10 by 13 millimeter tube, which is a 3 8 inch outer diameter, I believe. Uh, so I'm going to tap these both on the table. In fact, these are both the uh, same length, minus, plus or minus an inch and a half. And listen to the difference in tone. So here's PETG. And here's acrylic. Just for replay, PETG. Acrylic. So you can hear there's already a difference in density between the tube. Uh, again, as I mentioned, weight-wise, it's quite a bit different. Now. There are some drawbacks to PETG. One thing that I don't like about it. When you cut acrylic, in fact, let's do it right now. When you cut acrylic, as you can see, it bounces off everywhere. Acrylic cuts pretty easy. But do you see how that piece actually broke off right there? There's a little demonstration as to how brittle it is. You now have some chunks on there and a crack. So. This is probably already slightly weakened because of the amount of times I've cut it. But let's say we are deburring this thing. This is a deburr tool from Monsoon. You use it to do outer and inner burr, burr, whatever. You can see it actually cuts pretty easily into it. And you get a nice smooth, never mind the crack. You get a nice smooth uh, you know, deburr on there. When it comes to PETG, do you hear the difference in tone? It's much deeper. But as you can see, it's very rough. Like, very, very rough. I don't know how well the camera's picking it up, but it's it's rough. Paul, feel that. How rough is that? That's really rough, Jay. It's like sandpaper rough, isn't it? So, yeah. But we've already talked about its strength and stuff. So let's do a little demonstration here. We like science. We do this all in the name of science. So, I have here a hammer. It's not a huge hammer, but nonetheless, it's a hammer. Do you hammer in the morning? Hammer time. Do you hammer in the evening? I hammer all summertime? I don't know where this is going. This is Peter, Paul, and Mary, that, that's probably 
Okay, folk music reference, totally not picked up on. That's okay, let's move on. Sorry. Okay, so I have the PETG. Now you're gonna have to go look this up, aren't you? <laughs> so we've got the PETG tubing here. Let's go ahead and hit it. Do you feel better now, Jay? I, I say that's pretty durable. What do you think, Paul? That's pretty durable. You flattened it out pretty good. How many hits do you think the acrylic's gonna take? Uh, at least, at least double. At least double that, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. No. Now watch yourself. You want me to? Oh, you got my glasses on. You. I have glasses. Ready? Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Let me. Let me get in a little closer. We need the moment of impact here. I'm gonna actually hit it more here in the middle, where it would be stronger. Okay. Because it's gonna be It's gonna actually be you know more brittle on the end. Are you ready? Ready. That's why we use PETG tubing now. Do you want that to be your system? Come here. This is actually a good shank tool. Look at this. <laughs> you weren't expecting it to break that dramatically, were Jay, you? Jay's like, here, help film this video for me, Paul. I didn't think I was might expect to get shanked or something. So yeah, it looks like glass and stuff. Now here's the thing. Some people are gonna be like, well, that was clearly weakened. Of course it was. It was heated and bent already. So that, that, and that's not just because it was heated and bent. Actually, if you took a straight piece of acrylic, we don't have any more hanging around here because we've seen the light, but I could have taken the new piece of acrylic and hit it the same way. And uh, <laughs> I, miss, I missed that one. <laughs> oh, we got a little bit more left. You ready? That was fun. <laughs> I apologize I mean, for the best. I'm gonna be live streaming like next week and the acrylic <laughs> pieces like pulling out of my ass. It's all right though. So I know this wasn't a how to bend, but let's at least do this. This is the PETG. Oh, it didn't shatter. How disappointing. But you bent it. So this is actually a little bit of a how to bend video. Oh yeah, hey, we keeping promises here over here in Paul's hardware. I mean, JS2 cents, wherever we are right now, I don't even know. So you gotta ask yourself, which would you rather have in your system? Look at these pieces here. It's like, it doesn't fuck around. It's carnage. So guys, that's why moving forward on the channel, and that's one of the reasons why Skunk Works is getting its water cooling uh, loop completely redone. All of the tubing right now in my system is this brittle stuff. So yeah, we'll be moving over to PETG tubing. At that time, I'll probably do a complete video on how to do the bending, how to heat it, how to get the temperature just right, how to tell if it's too hot, too cold, uh, how, to, how to gently insert your, your tube, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have a great time. So Jay, are there any negatives to PETG? Any things you don't like about working with it? The only thing I don't like is trying to get the ends nice and smooth once you deburr, because it does cut, it is really soft. That's the thing, that's what helps this be so malleable is the fact that it's soft. Uh, but because it's soft, it makes it hard to cut. Sandpaper would actually work really good here on the end, uh, but I don't have any here. And usually I have a really fine file that I'll use, but normal tools like this, which were designed for acrylic, um, they just don't, they don't cut very well. You know, you don't need this to be perfect. You just don't want any sh sharp ends sticking out. Otherwise you could cut O-rings as you put these in. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I. It smells really bad too as you cut it, um, especially if you're in a small space. As you're cutting this and it's heating up, it actually has a very nasty kind of a, it, it's a very distinct smell um, over acrylic. Acrylic, you don't really smell too much, but the PETG definitely stinks. Um, the PETG also has a little bit of a blue t h uh, hue to it, just slightly, especially if you look at the ends where acrylic, this tiny little piece that's left here, <laughs> you look at the, the ends and it's perfectly clear. Um, so it does have slight, coloration on the end, but when you look at the actual tube itself, it's it's just fine. And PETG is starting to become available in much more colors and things. Um, UV infused, so they glow. I actually have blue UV um, PETG under black light. It lights up blue. So you do have some, some cool options there. Green is available. There's also white with blue. Um, so yeah, it's becoming much more widely adopted. Um, Primo Chill sells like an entire line of it. Uh, and they're actually like the leaders in this hard bending tubing stuff. So there you go, guys. We'll be covering some more on this topic, but I thought while we're here and I had the opportunity to 
put pieces of sharp plastic all over Paul's studio, I figured you don't you don't say no to that. So, all right, follow on Twitter if you guys have any questions. Facebook, Instagram, all that fun stuff. And as always, guys, hope you had fun and thanks for watching. Easy video and people will like it. And what if people want to see more of this awesome build to your left, Jay? Well, then you want to go ahead and head on over to Paul's Hardware and make sure you follow him on Twitter, Paul Hardware, unless you want a great deal on maybe some lumber or hot dog sales or, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe you can get your, your, your plastic tubing over there at their Paul's Hardware. That's a different place in Arizona. You don't want to do that. They actually get quite angry with that.